Oh wow, that's so cool. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Wait, what? That looks just like you, dude. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, folks? Arm and Hammer here. It is officially day zero of Wadapalooza 2019. Starting on Friday is going to be the main competition. There's a whole lot of other stuff going on right now. As you can tell, I also I rented this sweet mega yacht because obviously I have to live the Miami life. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about a few of the uh, athletes, one man, one woman, one team, that I think are kind of dark horses going into this weekend. We've all heard about T. Claire Toomey, Patrick Vellner, CrossFit Mayhem, but what if I told you there were a handful of athletes out there that you should keep your eyes on because they might just be the spoilers no one saw coming. First up folks, on the women's side, Lindsay Valenzuela. If you do not recognize the name, look her up because she has been at the podium at the CrossFit Games before and she is a very good CrossFit athlete. She has developed from what was just a strength specialist early on in her career into a well-rounded athlete who is able to compete at the highest level. After taking a couple years off for having a child, starting a family, and then getting back into it, the swing of things, I think this new qualification format is something that's actually going to help her out and I'm excited to see her compete again at a competition just like this on the men's side what on the men's side someone to keep your eye on is Mitch Barnard who has never made it to the games before but he has some very fit friends who have in Patrick Vellner Brent Fikowski and some guy I've never heard of named Joe Scally those guys always rib Mitch because he's crazy fit but has never made it to the games and this might just be his very best shot yet. Wadapalooza is a competition that he has been to before, he's comfortable with the space, he's actually won it on a team before. These things all play into his strengths and on top of that, the guy has been working really hard with the qualification process in mind. So that's a big, big advantage for someone who has been a bubble athlete in the past and now actually has a shot to make it. It's really hot out here guys, I'm sweating. Please, why are we doing this? Show me the thing in your ear. We, we don't need to. Show me the thing in your ear, Chase. Who's talking to you? Unbelievable. On the team side, I wanted to focus on a team that a lot of people haven't been talking about, and that is Team Ramwad slash Wit. And this is a team of individual athletes, very, very talented, coming together to compete. And that is Jamie Green, Jessica Griffith, Cody Mooney, Alex Smith. All four of them are games athletes individually. All four of them are tip top shape and they all have what it takes to actually work together because they have competed together before, they've traveled together before and even though they're not all local to one another, they have the communication I think that it takes to put together all of those individual talents. Depending on the events this weekend, I'm very interested to see exactly how they do. Fish, what are you doing? Trying to open a plastic salmon container. When I travel, this is my go-to. This you is what just I have eat. smoked salmon, it's smoked wrapped salmon. in plastic, but you have no real way of opening it. No. So you're just chewing through the plastic <laughs> like some f***ing <laughs> savage. Did you see me compete in the gauntlet earlier? No. I held the chalk in my mouth. <laughs> I put the chalk in my mouth, huh? and then I would work out and do deadlifts, and then grab it, chalk up, put it back in my mouth and everybody in the stands were dying. So those are your three dark horse picks. People who may just be the spoilers that no one saw coming. Remember folks, there's a whole lot going on in our space and it's easy to miss some of the most interesting and exciting stories. That's what I'm here for. I'm here at Wadapalooza. You're gonna be getting daily videos out of me covering everything from what's going on to who's doing what and the interviews in between. Thanks so much, I'll see you guys next time.